Hey, I'm Jocelyn and today I am in the very great state of Montana and I wanted to talk to you about what to eat when you're in Montana. And the very first thing I think that you should have is a sandwich from Pickle Barrel. Pickle Barrel is a very small chain. It's just got a few places, but they have monstrous good sandwiches. Fortunately, you can get a half sandwich because a full sandwich is like 17 and a half inches long and I swear to you, it must weigh like 45 pounds. They're immense, yes. but they're so flavorful. They got a lot of good stuff in them, so you should totally stop by the Pickle Barrel. Let's talk about meat. The big meats here are elk and bison. Um, they're steak and burgers and lamb all sorts of good stuff. This is, a, this is a carnivore kind of country, but you can get a lot of really great fish too. Halibut, uh, trout, salmon. You'll find a lot of really great fresh fishes from around all these amazing rivers and things that you're fishing. Another meat thing you absolutely have to do, it's kind of the go-to dish of Montana, is chicken fried steak. So chicken fried steak is basically just a steak that's been battered and fried and served with like mashed potatoes and gravy. It is like, manly food somehow to me um, but it tastes really good especially when you get it really good and fresh and there is fresh beef grass-fed beef all over this place so another thing i really suggest you get in montana is wilcoxon's ice cream uh, my kids really love their their huckleberry ice cream sandwiches those are sort of seasonal because huckleberries are seasonal and also huckleberries you need to try huckleberries all over the place here in every possible form you could imagine um, you also have to try some choke cherries and flathead cherries. The berries in this part of the world are just incredible and you'll find them in all different forms from jams and syrups to toppings on ice cream and maybe inside your ice cream. So try all of those things while you're here too. But remember, sometimes those can be seasonal. So back to the meat for just a minute. Um, Rocky Mountain oysters, anybody? They are kind of seasonal. They're, they're usually like in the early half of the year from like March to June. Um, and yes, they're balls. But they're battered balls. They're Get battered away. and deep fried. <laughs> okay, whether, whether they're battered or fried, they're still balls. And also they're kind of just an appetizer. It's not really like a main dish, you know what I mean? One other really great food here are pasties. They're kind of like English meat pies. That's the best I can give you usually ground meat inside and whatnot, but they're great and they're portable and they're yummy, yummy. But after all of this stuff, my very favorite thing to eat here in Montana is fry bread. Fry bread is, um, it's just kind of a quick bread that, that you make with flour and a little bit of baking soda and stuff. But I grew up on this um, in Arizona. We used to go and get it, fresh fry bread and put honey all over it. You can find it in many places in Montana and it is just as good as the stuff I had when I was a child. And with that, I'll talk about some um, Indian tacos too. Indian tacos are basically like all the normal taco fixins, but they're on fry bread and it makes it a lot heavier and a lot more filling um, than just like you can eat one. Whereas like tacos, you can eat like, you know, three, four, depending on the appetite and the size of your belly, right? But um, fry bread and Indian tacos here are absolutely fantastic. And also fry bread. And I've kind of got the best of both worlds here. I've got an Indian taco made on fry bread. And it is lovely. You, you can tell my family's already been to this. They couldn't kind of wait for me to have a bite. Mm. That's so good. I grew up eating Indian fry bread in Arizona. I love it and it's great everywhere. So when you're in Montana, Try these things. So let's talk about drinks for just a second. There are tons of microbreweries in this state. I think there's something like 45 and um, they're all over the place. They're very regional and you can get great drinks um, everywhere. Mark has really, I'm not a beer drinker, but my husband, Mark will drink some beer and he loves the stuff that he's found all over Montana and we have been all over Montana, y'all. So while you're here, check out some of those local micro brews and um, just enjoy the eats of this great state. See you later.